overflowing ministry that brought mighty revival in the Middle East, Dubai, and still continues to overflow, imparting love, life, and life in abundance in Christ Jesus to great multitudes in many nations. Jesus loves you, beloved ones, no matter who you are, Jesus loves you. God is our Father, and the blood of Jesus makes us the children of God, and whoever believes in him will never be put to shame. Jesus loves you, and whoever calls on his name will be saved. And, beloved ones, the true revival is true representation of Jesus. We must all truly represent him. The love of Jesus, the love of Jesus and his character and his life, his divine nature, divine character, divine life and his holiness. We must truly represent Jesus. That is the true revival. That is the true revival. Jesus is preparing his bride, his church. He is preparing us all as his true bride. Yes, we have greater works to do. We have greater works to do. We have good works to do. We have glorious works to do. Much more in these coming years until rapture and eternal with our families and generations. So what you have seen, it's all for the glory of Jesus. Glory of Jesus. It's all him. It's all him. We have greater works to do. More good works to do. More glorious works to do in the coming years until rapture and eternal. Jesus loves you loves you, loves you, his blood, his resurrection, he lives and we shall live also and the great Holy Spirit will do it all for us. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus always loves you. God is our father. David called him my father. My God, the rock of my salvation, Jesus loves you no matter who you are. 
And today, in all humility, I come to the cross along with my very beloved wife, Suhanti, and our beloved, blessed one and only daughter, Divina. We come to the cross as a family. The blood of Jesus washes us. Holy Spirit cleanses me, takes the word from Jesus and gives to me to give to all multitudes. The word is Jesus. Jesus came in flesh. He is God who came in flesh. And today, essentially, the great Holy Spirit has inspired me taking the word from Jesus for us to know and understand and accept the blessings that God our Father gives us when we serve Jesus on this earth. Everyone, we are called to serve him. When you say that I serve Jesus or we are his servants, it doesn't mean that we are slaves. No. In Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus, through the blood he shed for us to forgive us and save us, we become sons and daughters. We are his children. And as children, we serve him. We don't serve him as slaves. We serve him as his children. We are sons and daughters. What a privilege of the living God. While we live on this earth until rapture with Jesus in midair and eternal in heaven with Jesus. So, my beloved ones, no matter who you are, you are a son or a daughter, you are a child of the living God. God is your father through the blood of Jesus shed for us. The shed blood of Jesus, the forgiving blood of Jesus, the saving blood of Jesus, the life-giving blood of Jesus, the redeeming blood of Jesus has made us his sons and daughters, his children. And then we are his servants. As children, we serve him. And the first blessing any servant of God receives is, Jesus said, where I am, my servant will be. John 12, verse 26. John 12, verse 26. Jesus said, where I am, my servant will be there. What a privilege that Jesus says we are with him. He is with us always. And he who serves me, Jesus said, my father will honor. We will have the honor of God the Father while we live on this earth. Heaven's honor, not man's honor, but heaven's honor, eternal, everlasting, will be with us and in us on this earth when we serve him. What a joy in that word honor. It means all of heaven is our portion. We are heir and co-heir along with Christ Jesus when we serve him. John 12 verse 26. Second, the Bible says, Psalm 35 verse 27. Psalm 35 verse 27. God is so keen, so interested in the welfare of his servant. See what a father we have, what a savior we have. When we serve him, he is concerned and he cares for our welfare, which means our peace, our joy, our health, our home, our family, all what we need on this earth. He is concerned. He is the provider. Yehovah Ire. He is the provider. All good gifts come from God the Father. James 1 verse 17. Genesis 22 verse 14. He is our provider. And he is concerned. 
of everything that we should ever have on this earth. Our peace, our joy, our comfort, our health, our protection, every provision needed for us, our homes, our families. So it is such a privilege and honor to serve him. He is concerned about the welfare of his servant. Thirdly, Psalm 34 verse 22. Psalm 34 verse 22. Holy Bible says, God redeems the soul of his servant. God redeems the soul of his servant all the time. My dear ones, when you serve the Lord, difficulties, anxieties, tensions, problems, various things the defeated enemy can bring. And many times, servants of God get worried, upset, frustrated, discouraged, lonely, rejected. But the Lord says, He will safeguard our mind. He will safeguard our thoughts. His power of His redemption. We belong to Him. He has purchased us, our spirit, soul and body, and our mind that thinks of many things, imagines many things. Oh, the defeated fear comes into our thoughts. So the Lord says, I will deliver you. I will redeem you. So He will always take care of our mind, our thoughts, and Keep us in perfect peace until rapture and eternal. In continuation of that word is also Daniel 6 verse 16. The Lord whom we serve continually will deliver us. Do not be troubled, servants of God. No matter what the defeated enemy may try, when we serve him continually, he will deliver us and redeem us all the time. Now, fourth blessing. Isaiah 65 verse 13. Isaiah 65 verse 13. Others can have sorrow, but my servant will have joy. Sorrow, even if it comes, God will give joy to his servant. What a joy. What a word this is. A joy will fill the servants of God. Fifth, Isaiah 65, verse 14. Others may have need for food. They may be hungry. They may go thirsty. They may lack many things. But the Bible says, God says, Holy Spirit says, My servant will have enough and plenty to eat, to have every comfort. He will lack nothing. Isaiah 65 verse 14. So what a joy, what a blessing to serve the Lord. So we have come up to five. Now six. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper. Isaiah 54, verse 17. Isaiah 54, verse 17. It could be a sickness or a disease. All these defeated, defeated elements, defeated fear or tension or whatever. No weapon will prosper. Defeated death or defeated curse, nothing will prosper. Bible says, the word of the living God says, Holy Spirit brings this word to all servants of God. Even a tongue that rises against his servants, the Lord will condemn. Let not your heart be troubled, servants of God, servants of our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Be of good cheer. And the Bible says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And God gives his righteousness to his servants. What an honor, what a blessing is in that Isaiah 54 verse 17. The righteousness of God 
is given to us through Christ Jesus. Righteousness means God will see that we are always right in his presence. He will cleanse us. He will convict us. And he will cleanse us with love, with love. And the blood of Jesus brings the righteousness of Jesus to us. So that we are always found pleasing, pleasing in his presence. He freely does it. It's given to us freely. No weapon against us. Any servant of God will ever prosper. And the seventh blessing, very great. Malachi 3, 17 and 18. Malachi 3, 17 and 18. When Jesus comes to rapture us in midair, as we practically, physically live on this earth in these coming more long years, serving him, serving Jesus, serving like Jesus, serving with Jesus. Jesus comes to take the treasure of the Father's house. We are the treasure of the Father's house. And we will be raptured at that time. Those who served him faithfully, and those who did not serve him faithfully will be clearly seen. We who serve him faithfully with his help, with his love, with his power, with his grace, with his might, with his Holy Spirit in us, leading us, with his word, with his word, with his living word, his blood cleansing us, Always pleasing, pleasing, pleasing to him in humility, in humility, in honesty, in honesty, in truth, in humility, in holiness. Oh, when we serve like Jesus and serve Jesus and serve with Jesus, at that time of rapture in midair, we will be caught up as we practically, physically live and serve him. Yes, as his true representatives, as his true representatives on this earth. We will be caught up in midair with our families, our child and families, or your children and family, or in whatever way you are, and taken into heaven, into our Father's mansions. What a joy to live and rejoice forever. John 14, verse 2 and 3. Malachi 3, 17, 18. What a privilege and a blessing Blessing, blessing to serve Jesus and serve with Jesus and to serve like Jesus on this earth, true representations until rapture and eternal. Seven blessings, seven blessings. I will quickly summarize John 12 verse 26. Then Psalm 35 verse 27. Then thirdly, Psalm 34, verse 22. Then Isaiah 65, verse 13. Then fifth, Isaiah 65, verse 14. Then sixth, Isaiah 54, verse 17. And seventh in completion, Malachi 3, 17, 18. What a joy! Let us give ourselves completely to serve Jesus. We are co-workers along with Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9. So let us serve him and serve like him and serve with him until rapture and eternal with our families and generations. So beloved ones, I'm going to ask the great Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Father and the Son, to come and fill us all with the great love of Jesus and the compassionate power of Jesus, our resurrected, risen Savior. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. As I humble myself and come to you, Abba, Father. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, our Savior, our Lord, our God, who came in flesh to save us, today seated 
in the highest throne in heaven at your right hand side, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that your mighty grace and your mighty love and your mighty resurrected power will fill your loving children, every one of them. And by the blood of Jesus, we are saved forever. And by the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of the resurrection of Jesus, we are raised up, we are raised up. In faith we rise. In the living faith we rise. In the living hope we rise. In the living peace and joy we rise. In the living power of the Holy Spirit and Jesus we rise to serve you, Jesus, and to serve with you, Jesus, and to serve like you, Jesus, as your true representation on this earth until rapture in midair with you, Jesus, with our child and family or the children and families or in whatever way your dear ones are, all of us, as the Father's treasure, as the bride, as the true, true bride of Jesus, true bride of Jesus, caught up in midair and then in heaven with you, Jesus, forever. First Thessalonians 4, 15, 17, 18. 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52, Philippians 1, 6. Praise you, Lord, praise you. And then John 14, 2, 3, in heaven, in our Father's mansions, forever living with you, Jesus, with our families and generation. Praise you, Lord, praise you, praise you, Jesus. Use us more, Lord, use us more. Continually use us for thy pleasure, for thy pleasure, for thy praises, for thy honor, for thy glory, for thy glory. In all humility, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Let your hand be upon your dear servants. Let all these seven blessings be complete in their lives. Thank you, Lord, with us all until rapture and eternal. Let the rivers of living water flow in all these seven blessings complete in us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you and our generations until rapture and eternal. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen.